Edmund Wright House. Today, you know it as the registry office in a National Trust building, but once it was a central city office of the ANZ Bank, and before that, the Bank of South Australia, the first bank in the colony, and a founder member of the ANZ Banking Group. Here in this magnificent building, eye-shaded bookkeepers toiled over huge ledgers, writing and recording many of the major banking transactions of the 19th century. Banking transactions from the days when Glenelg was a bustling city of canvas. When miners came from Burra to turn their copper into silver. When the first vines were planted in the Barossa. They even helped the Cooper family start the first brewery. Yeah, good one. The history of the ANZ Bank has been interwoven with the history of the state and will continue to be. Today, the ANZ family of banks includes the Bank of Adelaide, which also shared in the beginnings of South Australia. And together they can offer even more to the state's development and to customers. There'll be more services to choose from, more banking facilities at your disposal, and many more branches employing more than 2,000 South Australians. It makes sense that the two banks with the greatest history in this state should get together to do more for this state. The ANZ Banking Group incorporating the Bank of Adelaide. Sharing your history, sharing your future.